Hello guys, good afternoon. Clarify ko lang if you can hear me. Okay, can I get another three minutes guys? Let me just fix this material. Thank you. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, once again, I would like to clarify if I can be heard over your end. Okay. So I can see your likes. That's good. How about the screen? Can you see the screen, guys? Okay. 
So good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our Shopee Fundamentals training. Um, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Mick Baluyot. So for those who don't know who I am or for those who don't recognize my voice, I will input my name here so that you can remember. Ayan. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mick Baluyot. I am one of the three Shopee trainers in uh, Shopee Philippines. So I mainly handle the training of new sellers on the platform and new mall sellers on the platform as well. So I handle one of the many programs in Shopee and one of them is the Shopee Fundamentals program. So what is the Shopee Fundamentals program? It is a four-week program that will prepare you into becoming a new seller on the platform. So we are on our week one of training. The title of this training is Week one, stand out, creating a supreme product listing. So I will be your trainer for today. The training will take two hours. My training is every Friday, 5 p.m. to 7 uh, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. I usually end by 6 30. So one of the uh, one of the topics that we will discuss for week one is actually how to create a good product listing. For the next three weeks, I will discuss how to book an order, what do you need to know about our couriers, and of course, marketing-related features and how to actually sell on the platform. Okay, so I think I have a small favor with everyone before I actually begin. Uh, I'm not really one to discuss all of the training in full English. So as a small favor with everyone, would it be, would it be okay with everyone if I can discuss the training in Taglish? I much prefer training in Taglish if that's okay with you. Okay lang po ba? Is that okay with everyone? No problem daw. Okay, thank you guys. So, ayun, very konyo kasi ako. I would much rather discuss everything in Taglish. I'm more familiar with that. So, ayun guys, this is a four-week training. Welcome to your first week in learning about Shopee. Now, I would like to get a show of hands lang dito. Sino dito sa chat po ngayon yung first time lang po nilang mag-create ng Shopee account and actually make... Ngayon pa lang ako magbibenta. So, saktong-sakto itong training na to. Do we have new sellers on the platform? Wow, congratulations. You are you have finally realized na sa sobrang dami mong binibiling items sa Shopee, mas okay nang magbenta ka na rin, di ba? So, I think that's more of the history as to why the new sellers I've been having the past few months have been selling on the platform. Baka nasobrahan sila ng pagbili sa Shopee, they realize na it is a possibility for you to earn money. Okay? I have been training the Shopee Fundamentals program since January of 2021. It's a four-week program, guys. So, in four weeks, ready na kayo magbenta sa Shopee. Ang week one, which is this week, tuturo ko kung paano gumawa ng product ng maayos at malinis that is within our guidelines. And then, yung week two, ituturo ko po sa inyo kung paano mag-book ng order, paano ba itong mga courier ng Shopee. And then, for week three and week four, bagong topics to regarding how to become a preferred seller and how to actually use marketing discounts in Shopee. Is that an exciting topic, guys? Bagong-bago yon. I will teach you the Shopee affiliate program and then the road to become a preferred seller. Paano ba maging preferred seller? That is something that I will teach you in week four. Actually, you can be a preferred seller within a span of two weeks. It is achievable. Uh, I have a personal experience. Uh, we have tried it and it works. Okay? So, before we begin, guys, I would like to let you know you can talk to me using the chat function. Tapos pag may questions kayo, you can utilize the questions tab. Unfortunately, guys, I will answer all of your questions so long as it is related to the topic. So if it's a question regarding a further topic that we can have, I would suggest na sumali na lang kayo next week sa session na yon. In order for you to learn everything, you need to attend my four sessions every 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. May bayad ba, Mick? Wala pong bayad tong training na to, guys. This is a free training. May replay function pa nga. If you were late or you were able to attend the half of the training, magkaka-replay function to send to your email so you can review the training for the next seven days until it delete the system. Is that okay? May face reveal ba? Unfortunately, guys, I can't turn on camera kasi naglolo ko yung webcam ko. So, we'll have to rely on my voice. And, Nick, ano yung mga nakukuha ko kapag nag-attend ako ng training nyo? We actually provide a lot of uh, freebies. So, I think for today, I can provide a 1010 voucher. Kung ibili ba ng items, I will double check if we have a 1010 voucher. And some of the prices I offer for sellers is a free airway bill printer as a grand price on a raffle. I will double check if we can allow an airway bill raffle or an uh, printer raffle. 
a thermal printer raffle, I will go ahead and double check. You will know naman once uh, if I will uh, if I will allow a raffle by the next few trainings I will offer. Okay? Vouchers, please. Mamaya na yung vouchers, guys. I will double check. I can promise na kasi today is 10-8 so baka most likely may 10, 10 voucher ako naman po provide sa inyo. So, can we go ahead and start with the training? Is that okay with everyone? Okay lang po ba? Um, wag na po kayo magulat guys ha? my training approach is a bit uh, friendly I don't really take training seriously kasi if I do this in a very serious manner yung full English the tendency is that it's going to be really boring para ka nag-attend ng online class which is the last thing we want on a Friday ng 5pm guys diba? do you agree? So let's make it as lively as possible and I'll make it as entertaining as I can okay? pero hindi naman kasing entertaining ng ano ah ng ng bar ah, na joke time hindi ganon so medyo formal training pa rin naman okay so let's create a good product listing so if you guys can see my screen we have here the many steps on how to create a product in Shopee. First things first, you need to access your seller center. So show of hands dito guys, sino dito yung ginagamit nila yung seller center using the Shopee app? or ginagamit nila yung computer nila. Better question, sino dito yung phone pa lang talaga yung ginagamit para i-manage yung account? Phone lang ba ginagamit nyo, guys? You can actually utilize your phone mainly to to set up your account and then to do the fulfillment, actually to handle your account. Pero the best way for you to utilize Shopee and the Seller Center is to utilize a PC, a laptop, and a phone or tablet. Kayo bahala, guys. I'm not saying na requirement siya, pero just to give you an idea, if you want to utilize the full features ng Shopee, invest kayo ng laptop, guys. Okay? That's one of the many things that I uh, train sellers to invest on. Okay? So, okay lang naman na phone ang ginagamit nyo for starters. Pag nakita nyo na nag-grow yung business nyo, invest on a second-hand laptop or, or a brand new laptop. It's up to you. So, ang ituturo ko kasi na training, guys, is designed for sellers na gumagamit ng laptop. Pwede mo rin naman siyang i-follow using the phone. It's quite the same lang. Mas malaki lang talaga yung features ng laptop. Okay? So, to create a product, guys, there are two methods. To either do it one by one or to do it by batch. Now, we're going, we're going into the basics of the training. So, I'm going to teach you one step lang, which is doing it one by one adding a new product one by one. So, click nyo lang po yung add a new product and then after that, you need to create a structured product name. For this training to work, I need to share my screen, guys, kasi yung combination ng training ko is sharing my screen and then utilizing the share screen feature. Okay lang po ba mag-share ako ng screen para mas makafocus tayo? Wait lang po. Uh, share screen. Okay. Clarify ko lang guys if you can see my perspective. Kita naman po ba yung screen? Ayan. Huwag na po kayo magulat. Sobrang dami kong tabs. I really am disorganized. Tapos baka may mag-aya sa akin ng Dota dyan. Huwag nyo munang pansinin. So, let's go to Shopee.com. So, if you go to Shopee.ph guys, log in kayo sa upper right and then enter Seller Center on the upper left. Ayan. So, Quick tour lang ng Seller Center, guys. Nandito po yung Education Hub. If you want a copy of all our training materials. And then, andito po yung announcements namin. Now, announcements are really important, guys. Kasi nandiyan po yung mga listing advisories natin. Nandiyan po yung mga update natin about days to ship. Anything new regarding Shopee na kailangan malaman ni seller, nakikita po yan sa announcements. Okay? Now, to create a product, you simply need to click Add New Product. Simple as that. Click nyo lang yan. And then the system will ask you for a product name. So yung product name nyo guys, it's 20 characters lang naman. Yun yung minimum. So kailangan may 20 characters ka talaga. And then you need to choose a main category and sub-level. So ito po yung important kasi. In Shopee, we have this thing called a global category tree na sinasuggest na po niya yung tamang category ng product mo. But you can actually choose your own categories for yourself. Importante lang naman po talaga na yung category nyo is accurate, meaning tama siya. So you have to choose a main category. Let's say for example, ang product ko is men's clothes. So pag kinlik ko tong main category na to, kung mapapansin niyo may mga lumalabas na what we call sub-levels. So you have to choose a sub-level na accurate for your product. Yung purpose kasi ng sublevels is to make your item as accurate as possible in terms of the search capability. So, ikiklik nyo to and then you actually enter a final sublevel pa. So, from men's clothes, ano yung binibenta mo? Hoodies and sweatshirts and then from that point, be more specific. Ano siya? Hoodies ba o sweatshirt? So, ito. 
This would mean that your search algorithm would revolve around men's clothes, hoodies and sweatshirts, and then hoodies. Kasi ito talaga yung binibenta mo. So if someone were to search for that keyword besides paid ads and everything, chances are your product would appear as an accurate search listing. Nagigets po guys, can you follow? So ang purpose kasi nun guys is dapat sobrang specific ng product nyo. Kasi the tendency is kapag... Inipit mo dito yan, tapos nag-others ka. Yan po kasi normal yung concern ng sellers. May ipit dito. Others kasi guys is a very vague search listing catalog. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang tendency niyan is may ipit dito yung product nyo, which is very vague. Kasi men's products is a main category. Sayang po yung other options nyo. So with that being said, you need to make sure that you follow your correct sub-level categories. Is that clear with everyone po? Can I get a show of acknowledgement ng kung clear naman so far? Okay, good, good, good. So only then, we'll, only then we will, will we allow you to click next. Ayan. So next is product images. Tuturo ako kayo ng magagandang photos mamaya. But basically sa Shopee guys, okay lang na isa yung photo nyo. Pero ngayon pa lang, bibigyan ko na kayo ng tip. Okay nga lang na isa yung photo nyo. Pero kung gusto nyo dumami yung orders nyo, gandahan nyo yung photos nyo at dagdagan nyo. A good recommended number of photos are 3 photos. Pwede ka kasi mag-upload ng maximum of 9 photos. May cover photo ka and then, then 8 other images. Pero 3 photos is good kasi meron kang cover photo, your best-selling photo of the product. And then 2 other images to show a different angle of the product. Diba? Pwede makita na ginagamit or something like that. And then after that is product description. We are now going to discuss the things na kailangan yung gawin as a seller. Yung iba kasi sa inyo, baka excited, nag-upload na ng product, hindi pa sila aware ko ng guidelines ng Shopee. That is perfectly fine. This is the correct training that you join. So for product description, 3,000 characters to guys. There are two rules that you need to follow. Well, first of all, wala namang character minimum to. So kahit ilang sentences lang ilagay mo, it's fine. Maximum lang talaga naman niya is 3,000 characters. There are two rules that you need to follow in product description. Yung two rules na yun guys is first of all, everything must be in English. Is that clear with everyone? So, English po ang ating product description. The second rule is that you are not allowed to promote any business outside of Shopee using product description. So, what does that mean? Ano ibig sabihin nun, Mick? So, with that being said, it means na bawal nyo po kasi ilagay sa product description na, by the way, pag may tanong kayo, ito po yung cell phone number namin sa shop. By the way, meron po kaming physical store here dito sa Baklaran. Punta po kayo. By the way, we also have an official website. Like nyo rin po yung Instagram namin. That is not allowed. Is that clear, guys? Now, you will notice may mga sellers na gumagawa nito. I am telling you, we remove those sellers day by day if they don't follow our guidelines. Okay? So, it's important na since bago pa lang kayo, makorrect na natin yung mga common mistakes. Is that okay? So, let's go. Okay. So, after that, you need to choose a specification. So guys, your specification, it will vary on the category na pinili mo. But the, it will always be the same for brand. So kung mapapansin nyo guys, tinatanong namin pag nagbibenta kayo ng product, anong, anong brand yung product mo? Um, you, what you actually put in brand is no brand. The common misconception po kasi ng isang seller sa Shopee is that the mere fact na original yung product ko, pwede ko gamitin yung brand name. Actually guys, that's incorrect. In order for you to utilize a brand name or a brand attribute of a product, you need to be an official distributor or the actual brand owner and then your legal documents must have been sent to Shopee so that we will allow you to utilize a brand attribute. Nagigets nyo guys. So kailangan pala para magamit ko yung brand attribute ng isang product, kailangan nagpasa ako ng papelis kay Shopee para payagan nila akong gamitin yung brand attribute. Kasi if you are just a reseller of a product or you are not an authorized seller of a product, you have to choose no brand. Is that okay? Nagigets po ba guys? So, no brand guy, you have to stick with no brand. Yung mga mall sellers namin commonly, they get to use brand attributes kasi part ng requirements namin is for them to provide legal documents. Okay? So, after that, 
kifilapan mo lang naman yung mga specific information na kailangan ng product mo kasi ito yung category mo. So, for example, ang pinili nating category, again, is men's clothes. So, hinihingi yung pattern, material, pack type. Iba-iba yan per category. The next part is the price of your product. So, when it comes to the price of your product, your price is something that you can edit every two weeks. So, for example, 999 yung price ng product mo. Pwedeng pwede mo siyang palitan, but the moment you change the price, you have to wait another two weeks kasi we are trying to have sellers avoid this thing that we call misleading discount. So, may, may cool down yung pagpalit ng presyo, guys. Okay? So, we also have your stock count. Lagay nyo lang po yung stock count nyo dyan. And then, for other sellers, we actually require them a size chart pag magbebenta ka under fashion which is a design or a, a creative of what your size is in terms of euro asian american size ganun us size okay the next part is shipping management this is actually the most tricky part kasi we are talking about the item in terms of its weight okay if you want to learn all about shipping management, I suggest that you join my training next week. Pero I will give you a snippet na of how shipping management works in Shopee. So weight portion ng shipping management, guys, let me just open my notepad para magets siya talaga. Yung weight na ilalagay nyo dito sa product, guys, is the weight of one item na finalo na yung unified packaging guidelines ng Shopee. Meaning, hindi lang yung product na binibenta mo. Yung product na pinak mo na kasi kukuni na ng courier. Is that clear with everyone, guys? Nagigets nyo? So, ang nilalagay pala na weight is yung weight ng item na binabull wrap na, binax na. So, the what's happening guys is that what's happening guys is that the tendency of a 3 kilogram item can change from a 3 kilogram to a 3.8 or a 4 kilogram item depende sa how you pack the product. Okay? So, please take note the weight that you put on uh, the shipping information is the final weight of one quantity of an item. And then, of course, you have to measure the dimensions of your product in terms of length, width, and height. So, ang ginagawa ng system which you will learn next week is that the system will find out whichever is higher. Yung weight ng product mo or yung parcel size and then from that point, with the available couriers in your area and in your account, you will get to choose couriers na pwedeng mag-pick up sa location nyo. So, so far, that's how shipping management, uh, shipping management works. Let's take a look at the questions tab. Uh, from Sabrina Lee, what if your product falls under two categories? We have a bag na multi -wasia. So, it's a backpack, crossbody, bag, sling bag, handbag. But sa Shopee, we can only choose one category. Should we put it under backpack or crossbody? It's up to you, Sabrina. Ang suggestion ko sa'yo, look for a uh, category na feeling mo mas most magbe-benefit ka in terms of the search algorithm and sa competitors as well. Can you change the stock information anytime? Yes. Questions tab. Guys, yung question stop, okay? Okay lang ba na mamaya na lang? Babalikan ko yan, I promise. Let's just continue the training. Is that okay? Promise. Sasagutin natin yan. Hopefully, hindi natin... Tsaka guys, yung iba naman masasagot ko na dyan. So, paktag na lang as nasagot ko na yung tanong nyo if hindi pa natin nadadaanan. Okay? So, next topic is pre-order naman. So guys, you don't need to learn much about this but basically ang ipafollow mo lang, lagay mo po yung tamang actual weight ng isang quantity, lagay mo yung dimensions, kami na bahala kung anong courier gusto mo, basta i-on mo and then pag nag-order na si buyer, yun na po yung darating. So, the next topic is pre-ordering your product. So, in Shopee, for the new sellers in this training, ilang days yung binibigay namin para ma-pick up yung product nyo? Can anyone tell me? Ilan days yung pinoprovide ni Shopee? Okay. Guys, is it okay with everyone if I take, take my inhaler as I do the training? So, may parts lang na may hirapan ako minga. So, ayun na. Hisipun kasi ako, guys. Pero it's not COVID naman, definitely. I've had it twice na. So, imposibleng COVID na to. Okay. I'm just having a hard time breathing kasi I'm breathing through my mouth. Okay? And yes, guys, overweight ako. Charot. Okay? So, uh, two to three? Two to three. Okay, so the correct answer, guys, is that si Shopee pala, pag nagbenta ka sa Shopee, ito pa lang, a week one pa lang ituturo ka na, meron lang kayong dalawang araw para magpa-pick up ng product in terms of it not being late. So the moment na may order ka, we actually allow you two days to ship it out. Paano kung product nyo, hindi nyo kaya i-ready ng two days? Meron ba tayong sellers dito na mik yung product ko made to order, hindi ko kaya i-provide within two days to? Ginagawa ko pa eh. Meron ba tayong ganong seller?
hinga lang ako ang Eh, pala naninigarilyo lang daw si, ano, na si Sir Mick. Hindi naman, guys. Inhaler talaga. Me! Okay, can you naman tell me what that product is? I'm curious. Anong product to? Uy, kombucha, guys. So, ang sarap. YouTube niya yan. Masaya yan. Masaya yung product na yan. Be careful lang on how you're gonna pack that, ha? Kasi that's a fragile item. Tsaka food siya, eh. Food category siya. Set it for pre-order. Actually, that's what I'm gonna train you guys. Merong, pwede kasi kayo mag-pre-order ng product. So guys, in terms of items na you can't have ready within two days to ship, you can actually turn on pre-order. Pag tinurn on nyo yung pre-order, it means na you can have the item ready between 7 to 30 days instead of following two days to ship. Is that clear? So ganito lang siya guys. Merong catch yan. Pag new seller ka sa platform, or rather, basta seller ka sa Shopee platform, meron tayong what we call a pre-order listing limit. Meron ka lang selected number of items na pwede mong i-pre-order. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang pre-order listing limit kasi sa Shopee is 10%. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung may 100 products ka na binibenta, hindi stuck ka, products talaga. May 100 products ka, 10 products lang yung pwede mong i-pre-order. The rest must follow 2 days to ship. Is that clear? Ibig sabihin nun, guys, hindi ka pwede magbenta sa Shopee na pre-order lahat ng product mo. That is one of our rules. Nagets, guys? So, clear yun na 10% lang ng products pala ang pwede i-pre-order. So, dapat meron ako 90% items na 2 days to ship. So, after that, you can now either save in the list the product or save in publish. Please take note, pag kinlik nyo po yung save in the list or the white button, isi-save mo yung product para ma-upload successfully pero hindi siya magla-live. Ang purpose niyan is para balikan mo later on to double check. Tapos pag confident ka na, i-live mo na yung product by clicking save in publish or update via the orange button. So what I'm trying to explain is, yung orange button, magla-live yung product mo within a couple of hours, pwede nang bilhin ni buy. yung white button, i-upload mo lang sa system pero hindi siya lalabas sa Shopee. Gets na po yung difference? Choice nyo po kung anong gusto nyo gawin. Kung gusto nyo maging safe, i-delist nyo muna. Pero kung confident na kayo sa nilagay nyo, publish nyo na. Mapipenalize ba ako kasi naka 77% ang pre-order ko? Not necessarily. Ang magiging penalty nyo lang dyan, we have this thing kasi called the penalty point system. It's not part of that, pero yung penalty nyo is that we are not gonna allow you to upload any other product pag mataas yan. Okay? Pwede rin isuspend yung products nyo pag masyadong mataas. 77% is too high. Okay? Be careful. So guys, gets na natin siya. I will now discuss the guidelines na lang. Um, somebody share screen. Yeah, disable screen sharing. So far guys, masyado ba akong mabilis? Feeling nyo ba nagra-rap ako okay lang yung pace ko? Sinisipon kasi talaga ako guys eh. Lamig ng aircon ko eh. Off ko na lang kaya. De, sige, mamaya ako na off aircon. Okay, so guys, ito yung product name format natin. Nagsabi ko kanina na bawal gumamit ng brand attribute. Pero for product name, pwede ka naman gumamit ng brand name. So brand plus product model, specification, and then size. Here are our examples. Okay, so alam nyo na rin yung category. We can skip that. So when it comes to product descriptions, ay lang naman yung simple kong guide, write informative descriptions, upload relevant high-end resolution images. So yan. So for listing improvement kasi guys, ang tip ko lang kasi sa inyo is select an image that clearly shows the product and the brand where possible. Yung photographic style dapat maganda. Ito yung focus natin. So guys, ito yung rules namin for good images in Shopee. Kasi guys, won't you agree with me when I say that your product photo is one of the factors of a buyer purchasing your product? Wouldn't you agree, guys? Agree. So, hindi pwedeng pinicturean mo lang yan tapos kita yung kama mo, di ba? So, you really have to take professional photos. Your photos must be HD. Tapos dapat tatlo or more siya para may angles naman. So yung cover image guys or yung main photo, kung mapapansin nyo, sobrang taas ng standards ni Shopee. So for the very first one, you need to use a solid background color. Yan to talaga guys, rule to. Yung likod ng photo nyo dapat, either a solid color lang yan. We actually recommend white, pero hindi naman requirement yun. Pero kung di mo kaya mag-white kasi clear yung product mo, gumamit ka nila ng any solid background color. Is that clear? Okay. 
yung item nyo dapat 60% inside the frame. And ito lang guys, bawal gumamit ng watermark, montage, border sticks, or other graphics. Dapat sobrang clear ng product mo at plain. Pero wait lang, Mick, parang andaya nun. Kasi may mga sellers kasi na biglang igagrab yung photo ko, tapos competitor ko. Did you guys experience that? Biglang kukunin yung photo nyo, ginagaya. Actually guys, we have a lot of rules of photos. First of all, yung first rule guys is that yung sellers, they're not allowed to use Google Photos. Meron bang gumagamit ng Google Photos dito? Guys, bawal yon. You actually need to hire a photographer talaga or use the photos na galing sa brand. Kasi nga, distributor kayo. You can't use photos from Google. So with that being said, gagastos kayo. Ngay ngayon, papasok yung problema na Mick. Nag-hire ako ng photographer, biglang nagulat ako, may nagtayo ng shop. Ginamit yung photo ko, ang tigas, ang lupit, ang tinde. Actually guys, you can report that. And one effective way for us to make sure na hindi nagagrab yung photos nyo is that finally guys, finally, we are allowing marketplace sellers to include a watermark. Pero yung watermark nyo guys dapat is a brand logo lang on the lower right. A shop name or a brand logo. Hindi po pwedeng contact info or anything. Brand logo lang. Is that clear? Even with watermark, they still post it. Mga ano yan, guys, we are reporting those sellers. Will you help us report these sellers? Kasi iba dito, bots. Kung makapansin nyo, ang dami nilang product na iba-iba tapos lahat yung ninakaw nila. We're actually trying to destroy those sellers pero wala namang item sold yun. Ang pangit lang talaga tignan. I myself have experienced that. Uh, trivia pala, guys, I don't have a shop in Shopee kasi hello, pag nagbenta ako sa Shopee, paano, paano kayo lalaban, di ba? I mean, kabisado ko. So, bawal ako magbenta pero my part partner, my girlfriend, she actually sells in Shopee. And I also experience with her itong mga concerns yo. That's why I work on it through customer service as well. Wala naman ako special treatment. I go to customer service as well. I just really know uh, how to do it at a faster pace. Okay? So, pag nai-experience ito, guys, you can actually report it to customer service. Take a screenshot, kunin niyo yung shop name, report nyo para ma-delete namin. Clear ba, guys? Okay, nakakaintindihan po. Okay. So, eto bawal rin to guys. Bawal tayo gumamit ng model. Yung taong hawak yung product nyo, bawal po kasi yon. Pero kung part po kayo ng fashion, health and beauty, sports and outdoor categories, pwedeng-pwede po kayo mag-allow na model yung gumagamit. Is that okay? If I change the photos in my existing shop, will it affect the shop rating and reviews? No po, it will not. You're editing it lang naman eh. By the way guys, your products must be unwrapped as well. For other images, hindi na kami super strict. Kahit ibang angle ng product, 50% kita, okay lang. Kahit na model, nala na kami problema. Okay? So, eto lang. Wait lang guys, I have to sneeze. Wait lang. Okay, thank you. So, for listing improvement tips guys, add additional images lang. So, ito na yung sinabi kong example. And then, ayan, you can use an environmental shot train. Pakita mo naman kung paano ginagamit yung product mo. Now, meron din kaming mga required product descriptions per category as well. And it makes sense naman, di ba? An example, kung magbibenta ka kasi under electronics or mobile, kailangan mo mag-include ng technical specifications at saka warranty. Wouldn't you agree, guys? For fashion category naman, lagay mo yung size chart. Bakit ba importante yung size chart sa fashion? Kasi guys, kung gusto nyo hindi sumakit ulo nyo sa return and refund, makaka-experience ka kasi ng buyer na tama naman yung size na binili, pero bigla kang sasabihan na, hala, Asian size pala kayo, eh, US size ako na large. Mali yung order ko, i-return and refund ko to. Ang sakit sa ulo nun, guys, kasi technically, ang kwento talaga nun, nakalimutan lang talaga ni buyer na tumaba siya. Kala niya all this time, large pa rin siya. Extra na large pa rin pala siya. So, that's one of the things that can happen. ba? Diba? That's why we actually advise na may size chart ka. And then for other, like, ayan, so may kita niyo naman, guys, warranty information. For health and beauty, guys, ingredients, baka allergic yung buyer. Manufacture date and shelf life and expiration date. Nagigets guys so far? Okay naman po yung pace? Okay. So alam nyo na yan. Ito yung misleading discounts guys. Basically may mga sellers kasi na kakaiba na po yung patong ng product nila. Therefore, uh, 
na nakakonsider sila na misleading discount, pabago-bago yung price changes nila. So please be careful of that lang. And then we are going to discuss variations na. Sa Shopee po kasi pwede ka namang gumawa ng variation mo kung color ba yan or sizes. Meron kang tatlong option. Pwedeng wala kang variation or pwedeng isa lang yung variation mo. So colors lang. Pwede rin naman dalawa. May color ka tsaka sizes. And then pwede mo siyang i-separate into SKUs. May mga seller po tayo na imbis na gumawa ng variations, i-separate ko na lang into different products para mas maganda tignan. It's up to you kung ano gusto nyo. To create a variation, lagay mo lang po yung variation name and may 20 options ka per variation. Repeat mo lang yung process kung mag 2 tier variation ka and then you now have to fill out the price, stock, and SKU code of each of your variations. Now, yung variation guys, we also have what we call SKU codes. It's going to look like this. Yung SKU code guys, pampasimple lang ng buhay ni seller yan. You don't actually need to utilize that. Ang ibig sabihin lang ng SKU code, pang mga warehouses na namin yan, wherein pag sinabi kasi nung tagapak mo na uh, parang pre, kuha ka nga ng 20 pieces ng A3. A3 means yung black na large na t-shirt nasa A3 part ng warehouse nila. Nagigets? Okay, Pam, don't worry, Pam. Can any you up? Guys, patulong na lang. Kunwari, assistant ko kayo. Pasabi na lang po kay Pam kasi ang layo ko ay eh, nakatayo ako. Kaya pa ako nakaupo buong araw. Pasabi na lang kay Pam na may replay. Thank you po. Nautusan pa, no? Nautusan pa nga. Okay? So, yun guys. So, may SKU code naman tayo. And then yung shipping information, you can actually choose your courier naman later on. And then measure your item after packaging. Very evident na yan. Tapos for pre-order, yan na po, alam nyo na rin yan. Okay, ito po yung pre-order listing policy natin. Yan. Thank you, Dang. So for prohibited listing, guys, let's talk about prohibited listing. Guys, meron akong i-raise pa na prohibited listing. Ha? Pero ito muna tayo. Ito po yung basics natin. So prohibited and restrict restricted items. Meron po kami mga pinagbabawal na items sa Shopee. Uh, nandun po yung list mamaya, papakita ko. Bawal rin po yung advertisement, yung minention ko kanina. Bawal po mag-switch ng listing, yung papalitan mo yung model ng product. Kasi na, gusto mo ma-retain yung number of items sold, tsaka views, and then misleading discount. And then there's, there's this one other thing, guys, na bago lang. And we are aggressively removing these sellers. May nakikita kayong mga sellers na nagla-live sa Facebook, tapos yung Shopee checkout yung ginagawa. Have you experienced or seen sellers like that? Guys, bawal po yun. Kasi, Ang ginagawa ng mga sellers na yon nagbebenta sila through Facebook tapos ang gagawin nila yung payment hindi payment method ng Shopee pero yung shipment kay Shopee bibili mo na lang ng 5 pesos yung product that is considered a Shopee checkout listing and we actually delete that kasi that's unfair for us you're using our platform as a courier not as a platform to sell a product nagigets po yung difference kung bakit siya considered na unfair. Kasi yung ibang sellers, they pay for the full transaction fee. Kayo, ang binabayaran nyo is yung 5 peso transaction fee. Pero in reality, bayad na si buyer, bayad na ni buyer yung product through a different payment method. Tapos, kapag nagka-problema pa yung product na yan through fulfillment, hindi po kayo tutulungan ni Shopee kasi unang-una, Pag nag-request ka ng claims dyan, let's say for example, binili mo ng gantong amount yung product as a seller or buyer, Ang usapan natin, 5 peso item lang. So, we can't file for claims regarding that. So, gets po? So, Shopee Checkout is considered a prohibited listing. Mapapansin nyo yan, guys, yung mga parang 5 peso items, pero in reality, hindi siya 5 pesos. May ganun talaga, guys. It's been noted and we are removing them. So, that's considered a prohibited item. So, Mas mabuti nang sa umpisa pa lang aware na kayo. Not necessarily a scam, guys. Kawawa lang talaga si Shopee regarding that kasi hindi kami kumikita dun sa transaction. Ginamit mo pa yung courier namin. Unfair rin siya sa mga sellers na katulad nyo na will follow our guidelines. Kasi bakit nyo ba fina-follow yung guidelines ng platform? Para po support namin kayo in terms of Shopee guarantee. Diba? Tsaka you're really using our platform and its benefits. We are growing with you and because of you. Okay? No? Ganda na sinabi ko ah. Okay, so ito nga po is an example ng prohibited listing. Yung advertisement nga po, yung nag input ng ano, um, nag input po ng website or uh, phone number, bawal po yan. Where to report those copying, grabbing, or shop photos? You can report them to customer service po. Okay, so prohibited listing. So we also have this thing called switch listing. Um, 
I'll make it simple na lang guys. Yung switch listing, pinapalitan mo yung product mo. Pwede ka kasi mag-edit ng product if it's the same category. Pero yung ibang ginagawa, yung papalitan mo yung model ng product, papalitan mo po yung, ano, yung category from t-shirt, gagawin mo jacket. Bawal po yun guys. Kasi ang ginagawa ng ibang sellers, mautak sila. Kasi guys, alam naman mga Pilipino, di ba? Gagawa talaga ng paraan yan. Madiskarte talaga tayo as a race or as a nationality. Alam nyo na yan, madiskarte talaga tayo. Pero there are some, there are some uh, mga diskarte or mga techniques that we don't actually allow. Mga pinagbabawal na technique. So, ito po yung mga yan na parang, alam, taas ng item sold ng product ko na to, palitan ko para masabing maraming bumili agad. That's considered a switch listing. Okay? So, the next topic is misleading discount. Alam nyo na yan. So, basically guys, malalaman nyo naman na may mali kayong ginawa pag sinuspend namin yung products nyo. Meron pong tatlong level. Suspend, delete, and ban. Pag sinuspend namin yung product mo, nakita po ng listing steam namin na actual person na may ginawa kang mali, isususpend namin for 7 days yung product mo, hindi may kita ng buyers yan. Ia-advise rin namin kung yung kailangan mong gawin na appropriate changes and then within 7 days, malalive na yung product. May ability kami mag-delete ng product mo kapag prohibited talaga siya, hindi na namin isususpend. Or, may instances rin na sinuspend ka na namin, hindi ka nakinig, so i-delete na namin yung product. Okay, meron din tayong third feature wherein we're gonna ban you from selling the product. Nakaban ka from selling this product kasi from the time na dinilit namin yung product, ni upload mo lang, tapos hindi mo na naman sinunod, sinunod yung guidelines ng listing team. Therefore, you are now banned in selling the product. Okay? Pwede po mag-edit ng product description. Tagalog kasi nagamit ko po, di naman po ako mapipenalize. Naku po, may chance po ma-suspend yung product mo. Sakto-sakto, we're talking about that. Habang hindi ka pa po nahuhuli ng listing steam, palitan nyo na after this training. Is that a good idea, Mary Jane? Okay lang po ba? Sana po magawa nyo by 7pm. Kasi mamaya sasabihan ko na sa kanila na may seller ako, si Mary Jane. Nakatagalog, bawal yan. Pero sige, hindi ko na sasabihan. Di na, di na, okay na. Grabe, no? Sir Jegs, kamusta po kayo? So, how to edit bad listings? So, how to edit bad listings is... Uh, okay, let me read it lang. Sorry guys, if halata talagang may sipon ako. Okay, so how do you edit ban listings? Pag na-ban na kasi listings nyo, pwede nyo siyang i-check kung ano yung product status niya, yung update time niya, de uh, yung deadline, violation type, tsaka yung reason. Nakalagay kasi dyan kung may action ka pa ba or wala. May tendency kasi na since banned na siya, wala ka na magagawa talaga. You're not allowed to sell it unless magpapa-appeal ka talaga with customer service through our listings team talaga na um, ito po yung evidence ko, ito po talaga yung fault, ito po yung reason kung ba't nangyari yan. Okay? So, what actions can I take for my suspended listings? Pwede mo i-edit yung product information to correct them. Pwede mong tanggalin na lang kasi parang, ay, bawal pala to, tatanggalin ko na lang, delist ko na lang yung product. Or, mag-upload ka ng supporting documents as I have mentioned or i-delete mo na lang talaga. Yan. So, please take note, yung products nyo, through my products, you can edit each and every one of them. Ang di mo lang naman pwede edit consistently is yung presyo ng product mo. Kasi po, kung yung product mo, ito yung presyo, tapos pinalitan mo, it takes another two para mag-cool down yan. Okay? Bakit po namin nire-regulate yung pag-update ng presyo? Kasi guys, uh, we are watching out for sellers nga na nakikreate ng misleading discounts. Pangalawa, kawawa po yung lowest price guarantee. Kasi di ba guys, we have this thing called lowest price guarantee. Tuturo ko to sa week 4. Pag may lowest price guarantee kasi kayo, may logo kayo na libre from Shopee na LPG. Ito talaga yung seller na lowest. Huwag ka na maghanap sa iba. Siya na talaga yung bilan mo. So itong lowest price guarantee logo, ina-award namin to sa sellers per week. Pwede yung makuha sa'yo ng ibang sellers. That's why may cooldown tayo na two weeks kasi ang ending yan, palipat-lipat yung LPG nun. Gets? So how to edit ban listing yan? Edit product information. Delist nyo yung listing. Yan po examples natin. So, pwede kasi kayo magkaroon ng penalty points uh, in terms of listing. So, one thing to take note of sa Shopee, guys, meron tayong thing na we call the penalty point system. Ituturo ko po sa inyo later on. Pero per category or per uh, operations, meron tayong uh, penalty points. Tinitignan namin in three things. Yung listings mo, 
yung chat mo kung paano mo kausapin yung buyer tsaka po yung fulfillment nyo. So, ang focus natin ngayon, product creation, so listings lang. Pag nagkaroon ka po ng penalty points because of listings, nililimit pa nga namin yung products na visible kay buyer for uh, 28 calendar days. So, 200 lang yung makikita. E, paano kung 300 yung products mo? May 100 na itatago ni Shopee. Yung 100 products na yun are your lowest selling products. Yung high selling mo na lang yung ipapakita namin for 28 calendar days. Pag 6 or more yan, 50 lang talaga yung makikitang products for 28 days. Pag in-exceed nyo po yung pre-order limit, yan. So, you we will limit your products to 500 and then eventually we will disable some of your products kasi lumagpas ka pa ng 20%, nagsa 70% pataas ka. Okay? Now, what happens if I exceed my listing limit? Makikita nyo naman po dyan, naka-red yan. So, red means uh, it's a bad thing, di ba? You can check it naman on your own. Yan. So, by the way, since bagong seller kayo, meron lang po kaming limitations. Since bagong seller kayo, only 1,000 items ang pwede nyong i-upload. Tapos, pag intermediate ka, parami na ng parami yan. Kailangan lang makakomplete ka ng milestones. So, yan po yung example. Sir Jegs, Sir Mick, pwede ba ka pwede po ilipat sa Shopee developers yung regarding sa seller affiliate program? Weekly lang po kasi yung nakikita sa estimated payout. Sige po, i-re-recommend ko yung Sir Jegs. Tingnan natin kung kaya. Pero I doubt ha. Suggest ko lang mamaya sa 7 o'clock meeting ko. Okay. So far guys, kamusta naman po ang paggamit ng seller affiliate program? Maganda talaga siya, no? Actually, I'm getting good reviews from it kasi it really helps sellers, especially new sellers. Uh, for the new sellers in this training, ano itong sinasabi ni Mick na Shopee affiliate program? Ituturo ko yan guys sa marketing training ko. Basically, it's a program that will help you boost your sales. Okay? Huwag po kayo excited. So... What are our prohibited items? So, example of prohibited items namin, nandiyan po lahat. Pero guys, ha, share ko lang, may mga ibang sellers or ibang mall sellers na we actually allow selling for them to sell alcohol. Pero may mga bawal na bawal talaga. Siyempre, bawal lang wildlife, bawal lang weapons, bawal lang stolen goods. Pero, for example, alcohol, pwede yan for some of the other sellers, saka drugs. When I talk about drugs, guys, yung drugs na gamot, ha, ibang drugs yung iniisip nyo. Okay? So, Another example is plants. Sa Shopee guys, actually very tricky yung plants. Ba sa Shopee, pwede po magbenta ng plants. Wala po kami sinasabing bawal. Nagmumukha lang bawal magbenta ng plants. Kasi if you take a look at our couriers, wala po ni isa gusto mag-deliver ng plants sa couriers namin. Pwede ka pa rin magbenta, pero dapat sarili mong courier or ikaw yung magde-deliver ng product or mag-hire ka ng third-party courier. So technically, you're allowed to sell. It's just that you're not allowed to use our couriers. Okay? So, eto rin. Nagpapakita naman kami ng lifted advisory. So, yung mga sigarilyo, guys, you can actually buy them on Shopee na ako. Uh, yung mga e-cigarette juices ko sa Shopee ko na binibili. Kasi, uh, instead of buying mainly on the official store, may Shopee coins ako na nakukuha. So, ayun. Sino dito yung mga ano, guys? Mga gold, ano na rin? Uh, loyalty sa Shopee. Naging gold ako recently. Saya pala. Uy, plotin naman tindi. So guys, ayun, nakakatuwa pala kasi just to give you a short story, makwento kasi talaga ako, I really don't like buying in Shopee kasi nga, alam mo yun, yung sweldo ko kinukuha nila. So I've never bought in Shopee for like the past three years that I've been working in Shopee. So on my fourth year ngayon, this year alone, parang sa isang araw may order ako every other day kasi siguro pandemic rin. I've really been into collecting ano talaga anime toys, manga. So I think yung mga sellers na friend ko sa Facebook may kita nila talaga parang every other day may bago akong laruan. So technically guys kalahati ata or more than half of my salary sa Shopee na pupunta lang rin sa kanila. Kasi guys ang dami ko ring voucher codes in which I will see if I can provide one later. Okay? So, nakakaingit naman kayo, platinum. Ano masaya pag platinum, guys? Kasi pag gold ka, ano lang eh, yung free shipping, tsaka voucher, eh. ano meron? Bakit po yung buyer nakikita yung city na pangangalingan ni Platinum? Nakikita po talaga po yung city ni buyer. So for example, umorder si buyer ng product, may kita naman niya yung shipping information ng seller. So it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with them being Platinum, Gold, or Bronze. Okay? So guys, ito lang yung mga additional prohibited items na pinagbabawal namin. Yan. So yung mga anything highly offensive as a listing, tsaka yung mga nagibenta lang ng import commodity clearance sticker that's not allowed. And then, yan. If you want an entire list of our prohibited items, screenshot nyo to, Gamitin nyo yung QR code. Okay? So, next topic. 
is the frequently asked question. So ito lang guys, let's go over each and every one of the questions. So one of the questions is, why is the listing not showing on seller's end? Kasi guys, baka naka-vacation mode kayo. Alam nyo ba ang seller pwede mag-on ng vacation mode? Kasi ibig sabihin nun, chat na lang yung aalagaan nyo. Hindi kayo pwede orderan ng buyer. The seller has no courier activated. Baka wala kang courier. Bakit hindi live yung listing ko? Baka under review pa yung product nyo. How long does the listing take to be approved? 24 to 48 hours yan guys. Pero minsan 3 hours lang. Tapos why is the listing tagged as unlisted when it was previously live? Baka may pre-order limit ka. Or baka may listing violation ka. And then why did my product get deleted or banned? Kasi nga guys, meron kang listing violation. So join our community guys. Very important pala. Please join www.facebook.com slash groups slash ShopeeUniPH. Bakit masaya maging member ng ShopeeUniPH? Napakarami po naming freebies and prizes dyan sa sellers. Minsan kailangan mo lang magkwento ng success story mo sa sa, sa Shopee and then nirewardan ka na namin. Basically, kailangan mo lang naman akong paiyakin sa kwento mo. Pag napaiyak mo ako sa kwento mo, baka bigyan kita ng printer. Pero guys, joke lang yun ha. I've really encountered a seller. Di ba kasi na-mention ko, meron akong printer giveaway. Raffle yun guys, random yun. Ina-announce ko naman kung sino yung nanalo. Pero to be honest with you, hindi po ako si Willie guys na kailangan yung dalin sa sir, kailangan na kailangan ko po ng printer kasi yung computer shop po parang kabilang baryo pa. Ang hirap po magpack ng items. So, tatakbuhin Go. So guys, please take note na hindi po dapat gano'n. Hindi po ako si Willie guys. Hindi po ako namimigay ng jacket. Vouchers lang, hindi jacket. Okay? Guys, mamaya na po. Sir Jigs, mamaya na yan. Grabe ko. Kikikit ah. Mamaya ka na. So guys, huwag nyo pong tularan yan si Sir Jigs. Bawal pa yan. Mamaya pa yan. Okay? So guys, sali po kayo ng Shopee Uni page. Sino dito yung nag-register na hindi pa rin na-update? Pasabihan ko po yung nag-handle nito later on. Teammate ko po. Sali po kayo. So, join our Facebook group, guys. Tapos, ayan, we are also on Viber. Sali kayo ng Viber namin. Parang Metrobank credit card lang yan. Ina-update namin kayo ng policies, saka mga updates sa shipping. Kasi, guys, sa 10, 10 hindi naman tayo magto 2 days to ship, eh. Ang daming orders. Baka mag-3 days or 4 days to ship tayo. And then, we are also on WeChat. Kung Chinese seller ka, guys, yung mga Chinese sellers kasi WeChat sila. Tayo kasi FB Messenger, eh. Nagsisend lang tayo ng memes. Sa kanila, WeChat sila. Huwag na tayo sumali doon. Okay, so tignan nga natin kung may question to. Question stub tayo guys. So mag-question stub na ako. Pero before I ask, I take a look at the question stub. Guys, may natutunan ba kayo? Meron naman ba? May sense naman ako, no? Okay. Kung may sense ako guys, okay lang po bang sumali kayo ng training ko next week? I would really appreciate that. Ang topic ko next week is uh, all about Shopee listings, uh, all about Shopee fulfillment na. So ito po, uh, gusto niyo po ba makita kung paano mag-attend? Gusto niyo makita kung paano actually make mag-join sa training? Ganito lang yan, no? Share ko yung screen ko. Nakikita niyo po ba? So kung nakikita niyo po yung screen ko, pupunta po kayo sa seller center niyo. I-click niyo lang po yung education hub. Pag na-click nyo na po yung Education Hub, click nyo yung events, para ka lang nagbubok ng masahe sa Nuwatay. Hanapin nyo lang po yung mga booking schedules ko. So, ang topic ko next week is shipping out your first order. Week 3 ko, boost sales with marketing promotions and shop data. Level up the path to being uh, level up the path to being a preferred seller. So, bigyan ko na yung link. Yan guys, so same time, same place, your choice, your music ko, di ba? Yan na po, sali na lang kayo. Eh na, may nag-aaya na sa akin mag-Dota. Wait lang, disable muna. Okay. Hindi pa naman ako mag-out. Pero guys, ayan, let's now take a look at the questions tab. So every Friday training, guys, make sure nyo na mag-attend kayo kasi ako yung mag-train. Mag-train din ako ng other training sessions on the week kasi hindi lang naman mark, uh, marketplace sellers ang tinuturuan ko. So let's now move on to the question and answer portion. Grabe, parang Miss Universe. So, a question from Wesley D. Bakit po dati nag-appear yung someone seems to be connected with your credentials on another device browser tab? If you force connection, the other person would be disconnected. Saan po to, Sir Wesley? Di ko gets yung tanong, Sir Wesley. Are you referring to Livestorm or yung Shopee account? Okay, uh, let's move on to a different question muna. From Keith Daryl Alvarez. I sell stationaries po. So light lang po talaga yung weight niya. Paano ba yung weight? Kasama po ba yung packaging sa paglagay ng weight? Pati yung parcel size po sana. Saan po mukuha yung details? Nasagot ko na po lahat yan, Sir Keith. Pero suggestion ko, Sir Keith, kung nandito ka ngayon, kung if you're with us, sali ka next week sa training ko. 
promise in detail itatakal natin yan. Okay? From Sabrina Lee, what if your product falls? Nasagot ko na to. Wesley D, paano pag yung buyer can't understand English? I'm so sorry, Sir Wesley, pero English kasi is the, ano talaga, no? the universal language. That's why we have to follow that. So, hindi po talaga namin masasuggest na yung product niya is in Tagalog. Or may Tagalog part. English po talaga. From Lay Hoson, Guys, by the way, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your names. Ha. I try my best to pronounce your names correctly. So, thank you. Uh, and, apologize, and I apologize in advance. Uh, from Lay Hoson, where can I send documents to register my own brand? I have been rejected three times already via ad brand in the listing. You can do that via customer service if you send your uh, if you can send your documents to them. Na, ano, B, uh, IPO certificate yung mga yun. Through customer service po. Okay. By the way, guys, small suggestion lang. Kung mag attend kayo next week, maglagay po kayo ng, ano, ng photo sa ano nyo, sa account nyo sa live storm. Tingnan nyo po si Elizabeth di matula ko. Kitang-kita ko kung sino siya. So, I will remember her from now on na. Kung mapapansin kasi nyo, yung names nyo, yan, LJ, Lay Hoson. So, lagyan nyo ng photo, guys, para makilala ko agad kayo every time. Si Sir Jegs kasi, kaya kilala ko yan kahit J yung nakikita ko. Lagi ko na nakikita yan eh. Tambay na dito yan. So, okay lang yan. Okay lang rin tumambay dito, guys, kasi may mga updates naman ako every now and then. So, let's take a look at the other questions. From Jonah Aguilar, what if it's a personal pre-love item? Can we state the actual brand? In product name, pwede. Brand uh, attribute, no. From Hasinto Michael Palarowan, you have to also indicate na pre-love siya. How can you know what search criteria we will most benefit in the search algorithm? Global category 3. That's the answer to that, Jacinto. Uh, medyo advanced na yun, pero if you take time to learn it, may kita nyo talaga yung suggested. It's also ideal to take a look at paid ads as well. Yan. Kasi guys, if you really want to maximize search algorithm, magpipaid ads ka ng Shopee. Okay? From Ida Torres, how many days a week can a new seller go beyond the 100 items limit? How many days or weeks can a new seller go beyond the 100 items? 1,000 items, Ida. So I think you don't have a problem with that. So, basta maka 5 orders ka from 1,000, we're, we're gonna change it to 2,000. In the list from Lay Hoso, does it mean na nagraran yung 2 weeks allowance for the pricing or should I publish it and then wait for 2 weeks before changing the price? Nagraran po yung 2 weeks allowance. From Anne Asuncion, how do we solve the concern when certain sellers still grab everything in your store? You may report them to uh, customer service po. Madami talaga sila. Even I help in reporting them. Pero wala lang talaga akong time. From uh, Aha or Aja, Sir Meek, is there someone that also hunt shops that uses our photos with motor? Or is it just our responsibility alone to report them? No, guys. We actually have a listings team na ginagawa yun. Pero syempre, of course, may stuff. May manpower lang rin talaga yun. Pero kayo rin kasi most of the time, you guys help out. So definitely natatanggal yun. Sir Mick, baka pwede po ilipat. Okay, Sir Jiggs. Uh, how come you only get 100 items in our new shop, not 1,000? 1,000 siya. Pero I'll double check Ida later on. Baka kailangan ko po i-update yung material ko and I apologize for that. From Cyril Sprint, Meron po kaya affiliate link para sa specific item mo? Store link lang po talaga. Store link lang po as of now. Uh, from Antirado, question po, example po sa variation, pinalitan ko ng 100 ml yung dating 150 ml. Okay lang po ba yun? Isang po sa mga yung 100 ml yung dating 150 ml. Okay lang po ba yun? Parang considered switch listing yun kasi different variant ni. Okay, sample po sa variation. Pinalitan ko ng 100 million dating 150 ml. Okay lang po ba yun? I don't think that's considered an uh, pwede. Kasi that's a different model na eh. Will you guys agree? Would you guys agree guys na yung 100 ml na product, papalitan mo ng 150 ml? That's considered a different model na kasi. Maybe you can better ask customer service para mas updated yung guidelines nila. Pero guys, I think at this point, parang bawal. Kasi magkaiba sila. Tsaka syempre, price point ata magkaiba rin. So yes, parang bawal. And from Wesley D, bakit po standard parati na pupunta yung pouch? Wait lang guys ha, give me a few seconds. Mid chat lang sa akin. Um, from West Lady, bakit po standard parati na pupunta yung pouch? Kailangan bubble wrap pag punuan like JNT, di na kailangan ng maganda service. 
Bakit po standard pa natin na pupunta yung pouch? So guys, based on the courier allocation program kasi yung kino concerning with Sir Wesley, maybe mas masasagot ko siya next week, but to answer that question ngayon, para lumabigyan kita ng sagot Sir Wesley, uh, based on the system, sinasabi siguro ni system na mas suited talaga on that route, on that specific time, on that specific order, si, ano, si uh, Shopee Express, which is standard delivery. Okay? From Mimi Miranda, Sir, regarding product listings, bakit po kaya na-approve yung upload ng products na photograph kahit meron na watermark? Kasi guys, yung pag-review naman ng product nyo to go live, system generated yun, hindi naman tao yung nag-approve kasi sobrang dami nyo. So, na-approve siya pero eventually natatanggal siya. Okay? Wesley D, in my opinion, dapat yung AI stronger against the hackers. Gets, gets, noted po. Uh, last question guys from Beverly Sagayaga. Pwede po ba Tagalog sa product name? Kung ang product name nyo talaga Tagalog, wala tayong magagawa, pero as much as possible, dapat po kasi English talaga. Okay? So, I guess that's the last of the questions. Guys, tingnan ko lang po kung may voucher ako. Ay, meron! Lupit! Ay, ang saya! Okay. So, guys, munting regalo ko lang. So, ang saya kasi talaga ng training ko eh. nag ka na ng training ko, may pa-voucher code pa. So, ang saya-saya, di ba? So, share ko lang yung screen ko. So, guys, yung voucher ko, pag-employee ka kasi ng Shopee, lagi ka nilang binibigyan ng voucher para bumili ka ng product. So, it's a friends and family voucher. I can share it with you guys para mamaya sa 10-10 makabili kayo ng product at 200 pesos off. So, ito po. Yung code po is Shopee Pay, Family and Friends Exclusive. You can pay your bills by load using this code. And then yung pinakahabol nyo dito, 20% off site-wide. So it's 1010 SPP FF 2021. Minimum spend 500, capped at 200. Kailangan po Shopee Pay gamit nyo. The screenshot na po, okay na po ba? Stop sharing na. Okay. So guys, ayun, for those who really stayed and finished the training, munting regalo ko lang po sa inyo. Thank you guys. So, can I expect, especially the new sellers na nakilala lang ako today, nag-enjoy naman po ba kayo? Sana po hindi ko sinayang oras nyo. Pwede po ba sumali kay next week? Sali po kayo next week guys, masaya po akong kasama. Okay? So, sali po kayo next week guys. I'll try to make it as entertaining as I can. So, ayun. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Meron po tong replay function once I click end the meme. Thank you.